before I put this together, I want to keep a record of how I did this experimental cylinder because it's, it's really worked well. And normally the rubber seal, this is the only thing that the, that the, that the top uses, that the head uses, is this rubber o-ring and you snug it down using the four studs which are right there. And what that does is the o-ring goes probably oh yeah right around the edge on the outside and that's a pretty good seal that's fine I have haven't had too many leakage problems with that now what I've done on this cylinder now that I have it all cleaned up and I'm gonna make some good pictures of it I took this gasket here and I, I, let's see if you can see it This is a heavy copper gasket. It's a lot heavier than what you would normally use on on uh, on this, and it's not designed for 54 millimeters, so I had to hand make it. And I want to see if I can get some some really good close-up shots. You can see where the piston comes to the very top except for that small shiny area underneath the uh, shiny area is where the the top ring hits so this had this this did bring me some some problems in that normally this head right here these holes were too big for the studs and what I did was uh, I took a a drill bit and I you can see down in there I drilled maybe um, half an inch no quarter of an inch like these right here quarter inch deep so that the head this head right here would fit these studs so gear that off a little bit now these are um, Honda studs uh, Honda um, stainless steel they're not pins I forget the name of them just getting old then what I did was let's see 